All right, so now we have our box, right? And if I export this as an SVG, I'll get basically the same thing that I got when I imported it. So what's the point, right? So the reason we'd want to put it in Tinkercad is to add some maybe images or patterns text to our box, right? So on these panels, I can go ahead and add things. So um, if you remember, the only way that you can get stuff to import into Tinkercad is it has to be a STL, OBJ, or SVG, right? So we have to have an SVG. Um, you're not going to find a lot of SVGs a lot of times. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But if I wanted to just do the prep logo, and I go here, and I go to save it. Now you can do this on your iPad as well. So I'm going to save the image as, and it's going to pull it up. And notice all I have is JPEG, right? But if I save it anyways, I'm going to save it. And then there's lots of um, online conversion softwares, right? Convertio. So if I go here, and let's go back. Convert. So I need to convert. Oh, if I choose a file, so download, that's what I did, download. And then it wants to know what I want to convert it to. So it started out as a JPEG. Oh, wait, no, it knows it's JPEG. And I want to convert it to an SVG, right? Now, if you've ever tried to download like a Minecraft mod, there's all these things that are trying to trick you, right? But I'm just going to convert. So when I convert, it's converting, right? Once it finishes, I can download it. Possibly. Here we go. I can download it. Then on my Mac here, it's putting it right here, but you know, wherever you have it download on your iPad, that'll work too. So if I go back to Tinkercad, I can say, oh, okay, I want to import, and now that I have an SVG, right? So where's my SVG? There's the one I just made. Open it. Don't worry about that so much. Now when it brings it in, it's going to be really big, right? So I'm going to want to scale it. I'm going to grab it and move it over here so I can sort of deal with it separately. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up a little so it's going to stick above the box so I can see it easier. I'm going to make it a hole. Because if I don't make it a hole, I don't think it's going to want to show up. So I make it a hole. And then if I don't combine these, then it's not going to, it's only going to show the CP or it's only going to show the box, but not both of them. So I'm going to group it. And then if I export, for laser cutting. And then on my Mac here, what I have to do to open it is I'll actually open it in Illustrator. So see, there it is. And if you know, when I said before that the line width was 0 0.001, which is a really thin line, and it's red, right? So if I move off of it, you can barely see it. If I move on, it highlights it. Now, right now, if it's red, it's just going to cut all this out. So I'll have a big hole here where the CP is. So what I'll do is I will just select. Oops, it's going to see it all as one thing. So I'll just select just the CP. I'm going to change the color to blue because blue is what etches. And when you do something in blue, you can do it at 0 0.028. It makes it a little bit thicker of a line. So there would be a completed box with CP etched in it and then cut out.